Our club has, uh, as I mentioned, a football first approach and we're undertaking an aggressive rebuild of the men's playing list under the guidance of senior coach uh, Matthew Nix, who is supported by a, a talented coaching uh, group and football department. Through recent uh, drafts, we've brought in some high-end talent and will enter the season with the youngest playing group in the competition. So we've gone from the oldest playing group to the youngest playing group in the competition. We are cre creating an environment which gives our players every opportunity to fulfil their potential both on and off the field. History says patience is required when you're rebuilding and to our members and supporters, I assure you we have a clear plan. We're striving towards sustained success and ultimately finals and premiership. There's one thing that's really struck me is the attitude that's prevailing down at Westlakes at the moment in the playing group, in the gym, in the environments in which they operate. It's friendly, it's interactive, playing indoor soccer or a form of touch football, I think it was the other day. There is an, a relationship building between these players that's infectious, it's good. And that's a good pointer, I think, in the direction which the clubs are going and some of the senior leaders are giving good guidance, mentoring, encouraging and assisting the younger players. There's a good pathway forward for the Adelaide Footy Club. With women's uh, football, when our club was granted an AFLW licence, we talked about being the club of choice for young girls and women who had ambitions to be player, coach or administrator or just a fan. There is no doubt the Crows have played a key role in the continued growth of female participation uh, numbers in South Australia. For example, at the junior level, it rose by 8% last year with 2,400 girls taking part in sample competition uh, across Adelaide. And we want to see that continue to grow, but it's been a massive growth of participation of young, young women. This year we're determined to make our school football carnival, which is, gauges about 10,000 girls across the state, even bigger. Our efforts to grow the game are underpinned by a group of talented uh, players, Chelsea, Randall, and Sarah Allen, for, for example, to mention just, but only two, where, who are not only stars on the field but outstanding role models away from the game. They recognise the important role they play in our community and the positive impact we can make. On field, we've adjusted our football program uh, to achieve a greater alignment between the men's and the women's uh, programs, especially in the high performance and medical areas. It seems to be paying off, budging by uh, some of the results. Deeper member connection. By any member, our members and supporters are among the most passionate and loyal in Australia. Sport. Importantly, we want to strengthen our connection. Our football department has shown a willingness to open up its doors and provide a level of access normally only reserved to players and coaches. This has allowed, to, allowed us to increase our content offerings uh, across the club's leading digital platform. And I understand in January, if my memory is right, Ian, uh, in, in January, um, we topped the AFL on digital across every AFL club in interaction. So that says something about the quality of access that Matthew Nix is encouraging. Um, there are initiatives that are important post COVID so you can have engagement where people can't come to the footy, you're at least able to engage in other ways and reach out to your fan base. And to add further that, to that, I'm pleased to announce tonight that the board is uh, launching a member engagement panel. It will broaden our member input and involvement with our operations and help us to form a deep, deeper connection. In coming weeks, we'll be asking members to nominate and be part of a formal selection process to sit on the panel, which will be chaired by our member, a member elected director. We uh, hope that that panel, including uh, some representatives from regional South Australia, will be an interactive, able to communicate through the member elected director uh, directly to the board. 
We acknowledge the important role we have to play in South Australian community and through the Adelaide Crows Foundation, uh, we'll be launching our first ever inclusive academy next month. It will provide support to over 100 children with disability and see them attend football clinics hosted by AFL coaches, players, among other initiatives. And if you can just see the look on these kids' faces when they get out to be able to do that, it's, 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 it's heart-wrenching to see and proves the real value of what footy can bring to the broader, uh, broader community. Celebrating our heritage. There will be a greater emphasis on honouring and celebrating our past, and in particular the fact we were born from Sandful. We are fortunate to have some of the greatest players of the modern era, as well as a number of distinguished administrators um, who represent our club in the past 31 years, who will bring together many of them for the Hall of Fame event this year. It will be the first time we've had the Hall of Fame event since 2015. As you may be aware, our men's team will wear a Guernsey with Page, which pays tribute to the past, and the names of the 238 former and current players will be printed into its fabric as we look to strengthen the bond between today's generation and those who played before them. Uh, facilities. Uh, this project is one of the most important in the club's history and is nominated by the membership base as a key priority as we look to build a new headquarters for the Crows family that can call home for decades to come. It's a complex task with a number of components to consider, such as, and it's been mentioned, the elite training facilities, opportunities to celebrate our history, ensuring it provides our members and supporters with a chance to engage with coaches, players, and the broader uh, club throughout the year. One thing I can advise you is uh, it won't be in the parklands or the Adelaide City Council. <laughs> however, we, <laughs> um, however we, we have, uh, uh, we're looking at uh, Thebanon and we've been asked to look at uh, one other site and so we will go through a rigorous process of assessment of that site and come to a landing uh, as soon as we possibly can. In relation to financial stability, as mentioned earlier this evening, we have retained our financial independence. There are still challenges ahead. For example, um, Adelaide Oval crowds are going to be capped at 75,000. Uh, 75. <laughs> I wish we could get to 75,000. 75% um, 75 uh, capacity. And from a uh, board perspective, one of the major focuses will be eliminating debt that we acquired over the last 12 months. We will also continue to create shared value for each of our partners, including major partner Toyota and principal partner Optus. And I'd like to thank in advance all our corporates, hospita hospitality partners for their support in 21. Closing remarks for this segment. Uh, can I say the next 12 to 18 months are going to be critical, but we've a plan and leadership provided by the board to help drive us forward. I want to acknowledge again the contribution of the staff across the club who've absorbed an added workload stemming from the forced changes and downsizing of administration because of COVID. Thank you yet again. Our women's team is once again well and truly in the mix for finals and I'm confident our men's squad will impress you this year, will improve this year. We want to play the type of football that makes you proud and achieve sustained success. Thank you for your ongoing support and loyalty, and I look forward to the journey ahead with optimism, because I think optimism is generally on the agenda for us going forward. Thank you, and Sam, over to you.